Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Manager 6 stream. My name is Adam. I'm the Community Manager of Franchise Hockey. With me as always and not pictured on your screen is FHM producer Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Hey, everybody. And we are back with the 2023-2024 Minnesota Wild, our wild thing, Minnesota Wild series. Jeff, it's been a long, long road, but we're finally starting to see some progress. Our team has drastically changed. In our last episode, we made a couple moves already prior to the trade deadline. Number one, picking up a couple defensemen and trading one away. Yeah, we got, uh, well, we swapped one old defenseman for another, uh, got Jake Gardner for Tyson Berry. And we also managed to pick up Kale McCarr, who was uh, about to uh, become a UFA in Colorado. So they would have probably lost him to free agency, and uh, we trade them, uh, what was it, uh, uh, foot and uh, a couple other things. Yes. And basically got a pretty good deal on him and signed him as soon as we uh, made the trade. Foot and our number three goalie, Akira Schmid, who we had in the AHL, along with the seventh round pick. Yeah, so that was a good trade for us. And then we flipped and picked up Jake Gardner basically for this year, maybe next year. We'll kind of see how it goes. He's on a two-year deal because we got rid of Tyson Berry's contract. Yeah. Hi, Gudu. Thanks for coming out in the chat. Uh, Should mention that uh, McCarr in the, uh, in the mark the car we got in the trade isn't quite the Kale McCarr in real life because this we started this game so long ago that uh, it was well before I think well yeah before uh, McCarr's big season last year so he's probably underrated a little bit uh, compared to what he really is well, he's but three, still a very good defenseman he's three and a half stars four star potential and he put up fifty three points in our in the game in our simulation last year so. He had 26 already this year by the time we picked him up. So, yeah, you know, he's not doing very, not doing bad by any means. Um, we're kind of at a point where we need to decide if we're going to do anything else. We made a trade earlier on in the year where we picked up uh, Tim Stutzel, who we uh, got from New Jersey because we traded away likely first overall pick in real life this year, Alex Lafreniere. Uh, we swapped a sec. We got their second. We, we gave up a third and a fourth, and added in a former defensive prospect, a Lundell, on our team. Uh, Lafreniere didn't sign with us. He wanted too much money, and so we needed somebody. And we needed a second round pick because we didn't have one, uh, because we traded that one away for Braden Point, who is on our team. So right now, going into the and it's worked out pretty well so far because Stutzel has. Uh been scoring a lot more for us than he has for uh, New Jersey. Yeah, he's got 13 points in 23 games, which is great. But that helped round out our draft class because we're back to a first, a second, a third, two fourths, a fifth, and a sixth this year, which is good news for us. Um, yeah, so we picked up that extra fourth, Boston's fourth. Uh, so we have some guys, we have some prospects coming. The question, Jeff, is do we really need anything else? And I do have... No, I think I would leave it where we are right now as, and not make any more deals at the deadline. Well, the only thing I'm wondering about is if we should maybe look at adding a goalie. And I don't necessarily mean a good goalie, but if Parsons or Hunter Jones went down, we suddenly have a one-star number three goalie right now because we traded away Akira Schmid. So should we try and look for a guy... I don't know. I haven't even looked at free agents. So maybe we should look at a free agent goaltender and see if we can add some. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Who uh, gives us that little bit more depth. And we can, we can or look just at... glance at the trading block and see if anybody's... Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to take a look here at goaltenders. And But yeah, so there's nobody worthwhile available through free agency. So if we want to look at the trade block, we need to go to transactions and then trade block... Uh, again, I'm just going to filter off everybody but goaltenders, who I think probably is what we're looking for. There's only two goaltenders on there. One is Patrick Rybar, who we don't want, and the other one is Callum. Austin's back up. And... Yeah, they're going to want way too much for that. 
Um, so the question is, can we find somebody else? So upcoming free oh, agents. He's only two stars. Yeah, upcoming free agents. I was just going to look, peek on. Ideally, we're probably looking for somebody old or somebody a little bit young. Like, uh, okay, how about this guy right here? One and a half stars, three star potential. Oh, we don't, they don't have him scouted very well. Roman Durney? Durney? I'm not sure how you say that name. 25 years yeah, old. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't worry about the potential at all. We just want somebody who's a little higher ability right now. But it doesn't look like there's anybody really that's worth picking up. Okay, well, you, uh, you know what I didn't do on free agents is I didn't filter for just AHL goalies. So maybe I should do that too, right? So walk me through how to do that again, Jeff, because, you know, sometimes I forget. You're, wait, you're, you're trying to find any, like, whatever goalie we can sign? Yes. So I need to filter and then... Okay, so you want to go, you're, are you on the, uh, you don't want to be... You no, know, no, you don't want to be on that uh, that screen. You need to go with the regular search screen. No, oh, just the regular search screen. Okay. So I need to click my magnifying glass. Okay. Yes. Okay, and I'm filtering to goalies. Yep. And I want to click signable. Yep, that's the key thing. All right. I and that will give you everybody that you can grab out of the AHL or whatever league, senior league they're playing in, or lower minors, Europe, a few of the European ones that you can sign right away. Okay, so right away we got... And there are, it looks like, a two guys. handful of two-star guys. Yeah, I'm right away interested by Mike Robinson. Six foot three, 208, two-star talent, three-star potential. Maybe at his max, but you know what? Yep, that plan for be. Rockford. Uh, looks, looks okay. What's his scouting report say? He's not very loyal to his team. That's fine. Probably he had a really good, having a really good season this year after being pretty uh, average in the ECHL the year before and the year before that. Yeah, I, I think this might be the guy unless you have an argument against him. Or do you want Landon Bow? Uh, oh, see. yeah. No, I think uh, Robinson makes more sense. A couple of years younger, too. Yeah. So let's add Robinson, or try and add him. We'll offer him a contract. He wants a two-year deal. He's not getting a two-year deal. Yeah, he's going to want next to nothing. We're offering him 900000 if he's in. Uh, also wants a one-way deal. Yeah, well, he's not going to get that either. But we will offer him about 175 to be in the minors. So we'll ask him for his response. And he's okay with yeah, all nice of that. Nice paycheck for him. Yeah, uh, Jeff, there's a question in the chat there for you. And he signed. Boom, just like that. Which is what happens on for some of this. So we're going to send him immediately down. Because we don't really need him. Oh, I forgot. We actually have a trade proposal here for somebody. Yeah. Because we did have players on the trade oh, what's block. Up? Wow, you see Saros for Owen Tippett. That's a trade. Oh, we had one from the Bruins. All right. Bruins wanted Matt Dumba for... I don't even know how to say that name, Jeff. Oh, yeah, no, I think we looked at this last time. Maybe Euro that's... Vicanen? Update. No, it's a terrible trade. Yeah, no, we're rejecting that trade, yes. That does not help us. Uh, did you see the question in the ch chat there, Jeff? Sorry. Uh, which one were you talking about? Uh... Okay, you know what? Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Um Okay, so we have Nate McKinnon signed for six years. We added another goaltender who's going to probably take away some starts from 
Kevin Mandelies, but that's okay. He's only one star. Uh, looking at our upcoming free agents too, because we'll hear Beckman wanted way too much money. That's right. Donato is going to walk, and we're okay with that. So let's take him off the block. Yeah, it's just insurance if we get an injury. Uh, B B the Bitten forwards has towards never the end really of the year. turned out. Jared Moe's gone. We're okay. Mike Robinson. We're probably going to look for a younger goalie to add again. And yeah, okay. So we're not worried about any of these guys leaving right now. So that's fine. And we do have some unsigned draftees who are... Do we have any guys do this year? Uh, no, nobody's mandatory to be signed this year, so that's good, too. All right, so I don't think we're going to make any other moves. Do you think there's anything else we need? Looking at our depth chart. Nope, I think we're good. Dylan Holloway's coming along, too, so that's good. That was a nice free agent ad. Wyatt Johnson, too. 48 points in 62 yep. games. The future is bright on forwards. Took a long time. So we're going to play our game. And we're just going to sim through it because it's not going to matter much. Tyler Parsons loses. 4-2 loss. What happened? Okay. Of course, we get immediately outscored. Dawson Mercer scores. Oh, there's Stutzel getting it, grabbing another assist. And our old friend Cal Foot picks up an assist as well. Atu Ratu adds his 30th on the year. Good for him. But we just can't get going. And oh, Peter Reynolds is on Colorado. I don't think I knew that. Or if I did, I forgot. Yeah, it looks like he uh, dropped out of Boston College after a year and then went and played in the queue and uh, finally came to Colorado. How did he get there? Oh, they drafted him uh, late in the first round in 2021. All right. Uh, some minor moves. Looks like teams mostly picking up depth. but nothing major at the trade deadline which isn't surprising but you know sometimes you hope to see something and we have a game here versus nashville just taking a quick look okay stutzel's down to 78 but nobody else everybody else is fine so hunter jones is in for this game and we pick up the win at least we ooh, big win big win 7-4 win Put up 46 shots on net to their 35. They scored the first goal nice. and actually had a 2-1 lead after the first. But we storm back. Pedersen scored multiple times. Cal Makar. Liam Arnsby's 10th goal of the year. All right. On the power play. Pedersen. Makar. Atu Ratu. Excellent. Guy scoring. Liam Arnsby's got... 30 points this year already. That's not bad for a rookie. Mm, pretty good rookie year, yeah. For a guy who I don't think was a particularly high draft pick. Oh, mm. nope, I'm wrong. He was a uh, power mid first rounder. Yes. He wasn't a high first rounder, was he? Or he was mid, kind of mid ish. No, 20th overall, and that was a couple of years ago. We, he had some great junior seasons. We built our team up through a lot of kind of middling uh, or middle draft picks. And continuing here. All right. Our former goalie, Capocacco, is... Oh, wait, not our former. That's Cap. Oh, completely different guy. Adam, get your names right. Uh, Capocacco is gone, <laughs> though, for five months. Yeah, they're all finished. Uh, okay, there's okay. how many? There's not that many guys who have that many K's in their names. But yes, I got them confused. I'm sorry. 
It's not on purpose. <laughs> and we had we had Kapanen on this team too. It it happens. Okay, just, just give me a break. Yep. And oh man, Tyler Kapanen, Parsons, Kapanen, can- and Kako. Parsons cannot pick up a win. We get get thirty one shots, but we give up thirty one. And we lose seven to three. Like, wow, what is going on? Now Philadelphia is really good too. Actually, no, they're not. They're thirty-two and thirty. Okay, I thought they were leading their conference. Hmm. Nope, not even close. Uh, yeah. They're out of the playoffs right now by quite a bit. Yeah, that's disappointing. We are leading our division at least, but uh, our chance at first place is quickly disappearing, and Anaheim seems to be running away with that. Still trying to make decisions. I don't know. We're at the end of February, at least. So we're going to get a development report here. We're in pretty good shape. So let's see what the development report tells us. Uh, oh, look. There's the guy who I was looking for before. Capo Kakinen is named goaltender of the month for Detroit. And Brady could check his name forward of the month. All right. Development report for Minnesota. And everybody's going up, so that's good. Travis Trelor. Was Trelor at two stars, Jeff? Looking back at yours. Ooh, Dawson Mercer. Pretty has, sure he was. Let me just take a quick Is look. Dawson Mercer a three star potential in your game? Because that's what he's yeah, at. Yeah, two now. stars already. Yep, he's slipped back a bit. He's getting older, and it's becoming obvious he's not going to make it up to the... I think he was four before. Well, he's 22. He's not that old, but that's disappointing. All right, yeah, our, our Slovakian defenseman, Simone Nemec, is starting to get a little better. He's up to one and a half stars. We might be able to bring him over. Rhett Reinhardt's improving. And putting up big numbers, too. Yeah, uh, it is in the Slovakian league, but uh, Ridley Grieg is coming along. It's nice. And still, he's only 20. Hmm. I did not know that the, our Finnish defenseman ended up in the KHL. That's interesting. Casper Sealing. All right. Nate Danielson, 107 points in 59 games. Yo, nice. Cam Squires, 93 points in 56. Riker Singer. That might be my favorite name of guys we've drafted in our FHM games. Riker Singer. <laughs> Great name. Mazden Leslie. Okay, he's going to be ready for this team next year. He's 48 games played, 46 points. He's up to two-star talent, three-star potential. First-round pick last year. Justin Trepignier, 50 points in 57 games. He's going to need a little more time. Where was that KHL guy? Casper Celine. Where did we draft him? Third round pick. Signed with Joker it. To a one year deal. Well, we might have to sign him to try and make sure we don't lose him to the KHL consistently. Going to have to try and remember that. Uh, 
uh, chat question. Smoked one. How do you turn on graphics for FHM? I only get colored triangles. They should be on by default. You're saying are, are you only getting the uh, like uh, placeholder uh, generic logos for teams, or your? Or do you, are you getting graph? Are you getting logos for the NHL teams? Or do you mean you're getting jerseys instead of don't have? Are getting jerseys instead of um, face gen. Um, Craig Leopold thinks the season has been outstanding. So great success and teams in outstanding shape in the last few weeks. The team has been good, but we need to sure remain successful at seven, four, and two. I mean, I don't know what he wants. We're doing as well as we can. Just taking a quick look at our job security. Cup maybe. Oh, we're still nice and high. Our team chemistry is ecstatic. We're up to 68 with fan happiness. I don't know. What do you want, Minnesota? We're trying. Tyler Parsons has actually fallen to two fires. And he finally gets a win again. My goodness. Beat San Jose 5-2, which is good because at least they have a winning record. 38 shots to 24 for them. Rat 2 scores. Stutzel scores. Makar, Makar, Shaka. Uh, Makar's picking up points consistently. I like it. Oh, okay. You're talking about the in-game engine. No, there's not a 3D engine in FHM like there is in uh, Out of the Park. Uh, we're working on something for that uh, for the next version of the game, but uh, it's not an FHM six. Jeff dropping a bomb in the chat and continuing again. We're going to throw it before. Uh, well, no, not quite that explicitly. And, oh, man, we get absolutely destroyed by the Rangers, but Hunter Jones gets a little bit warmer because he faced 48 shots and only gives up five goals. Ooh. We don't score until, oh, my goodness. We were losing 5 nothing, and Tim Stutzel buries one with four seconds left in the game. <laughs> you will not have a shutout. Nice. All right, at least we didn't get shut out. Just taking a quick look at the game ratings here, because, boy, what's going on? Ooh, Makar's got a 44 defensive game rating. Um, minus two. He played 516. Makar hasn't done much play. so far, has he? No, he's done all right. He's done all right. Let's maybe take a look at his... Uh, take a look, few looks at his stats there. Okay. Lassie Thompson has improved on left defense. All right, Makar has had seven points in six games. Yeah, he hasn't done anything. Smoked on 2D, not 3D. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Makar is playing with Shaka, who is a two-way defenseman. Can we move Shock into more defensive role? Not that I want Shock being defensive minded, but he is an offensive defenseman as his major role. What's his tactics yeah. though? Can we slightly adjust Shock? No, the 13 is going to be the way how he is. Um, <laughs> By the way, how many goalies do we have in Iowa right now? You might want to move somebody down so they get more playing time in the ECHL if it's... Uh, I think there's only two right now. The guy we picked up isn't uh, he's getting all the time. Oh, they have moved. They may have moved. Oh, it looks like yeah, one of them was signed to Iowa, so they just probably pushed him down to yeah the next level. We could make take Makar off being a quarterback. 
and make him more into a move him to a two way defenseman too to see. I mean that only drops him from a sixteen to a fifteen. Thoughts? Yeah, that might make sense and may improve his defensive play a little bit. I don't think it's going to hurt him, but I mean, I'm just trying to think what's going to be best for. Yeah, Dump is still a rushing defenseman. Uh, we still have Yossi as one of the quarterbacks. Well, let's give it a shot. We'll see if that makes any. Yeah, and we've difference. got so many guys in the offense oriented roles on defense. I think it makes sense to make him more of a two way guy. Which isn't bad having lots of guys who can put the puck in the net. But it's just trying to find the right balance, I guess. And I backed away from huh. my mic, so that's going to sound weird. Yeah, somebody's got to play D. No, that's what the goalies are for, Jeff. No, that was fine. Okay, I'm just going to check uh, my goaltenders now that because I remembered you said that. So we have Mike Robinson and Kevin Mandelies. Moe's in the, with the ECHL. Yep, that should be fine. Yeah. Again, Moe's gone from this team next year anyways. I think we're not even going to tender him. Yeah, contract's expiring. Same with the other guy in the ECHL, Kakorin. Well, then we have to talk about possibly getting rid of uh, the guy you, you forced me to draft and sign who turned out to be terrible. Who was that? Klepka. Kletka. Okay, I don't remember that. Camille Kletka. Oh, the, well, we needed a spare goalie. Well, again, he was the, the draft pick you wanted. You're like, oh, take him. He looks like he might be okay. Turns out, no, he's only one and a half stars. Not worth it. All right, we have hit 80 points on the year. Jeff, if you can look back, what was our top point total? What's our goal to try and get past? I was just checking that. Give me a second. The Our top total or Minnesota's top point total? Our top, total. our top total was 90. Both. Okay, 90. All right. Franchise record is, 10, is 106. All right. All right. So we should be able to pass our goal, whether we get past everybody. By the way, your attendance is up by about 1,000 this year. Oh, and we lose again versus Ottawa. What is going We get shut out versus Ottawa. Now, Ottawa's a pretty decent team, but... Now, know. Ottawa's gotten a little better in this game. Okay, our numbers are actually... Liam Arnsby didn't have a great game. Zach Dean didn't have a great game. Stutzel didn't have a great game. Bold didn't have a great game. Lassie Thompson, 39 defensive game rating. What you doing there, man? All right, we're going to redistribute some ice time here and move our second or our third pairing down to 16 minutes night on average and give Yossi and Paranko and Shaka and Makar a little more ice time, see if that makes some difference. Yeah, they can handle that. Here's hoping. Johnny Goudreau, over 100 points on the year already. Sean Monahan right behind him at 98. It's a good one two punch. And so, uh, Jeff, the next time we stream, we got to think here. We will know qualifying offers and who's going to free agency or not. And also, if do you think there's any chance that Boston does in fact trade Tory Krug ahead of time? To tr and who do you think he could go to? Uh, it's sounding like they're leaning that way. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, he'd definitely help Vancouver. I mean, that's exactly the kind of guy we need right now. Actually, is the one draft more def offensive defenseman to help use? 
is the draft next Wednesday? It's uh, five days. Yeah, yeah, next week. Is it Wednesday or is it Tuesday? I, can't I was remember. thinking it was the seventh. No, it's next week. Well, now you need, well, if, if if the draft is next week, I don't know if we can stream during the draft, Jeff. I'm going to be kind of whew, all over that. Hang on, let me let me double check on the uh, date. First one says it's going to be held June 21st, 22nd. Well, I don't think that happened. So much for that. And come on, let's get to our next game. We're going to be stuck at 80 points here. We're just not going to get past it. Oh, first round is on the 6th, the uh, Tuesday and second round and everything else is uh, on Wednesday. Okay, so we can give live draft highlights. Sweet. Yep, the low picks. I'll admit it'll probably be over by the time we, uh, we're on. Um, I don't know. They'll go fast, but I don't know if they'll go that fast. Get hot, Parsons. Final. He gets a win at least. 4-3 win over Dallas. Beckman finally gets another point. Liam Arnsby, 11. Braden Point only has his 14th goal of the year. Nate McKinnon with his 30th. What is Point doing this year as I look? 59 points in 55 games. He's got 45 assists, but he's only got 14 goals. I guess he is probably... Yeah, just been passing a little more. Well, he's getting, getting the puck to Ratu, so that's fine. And there has been some upheaval with how much... Yeah, again, Ratu's Mc, probably on track for 40. McKinnon being hurt, too, and that kind of messed things up a bit. And we see some coaches getting fired. Todd Nelson gets fired from the Kraken, and they bring on Gerald Raynor. You got me. And, all right, we're going to put Hunter Jones in net for this one versus L.A. Simming brings us good luck, and we lose because of it, and their goalie goes completely on fire, and we get absolutely destroyed again. We either win or we get just demolished. 7 1 loss. This is not going to be a long playoffs the yeah. way this is going. Wow. Arthur Kaliev has 49 goals on the year. I am impressed. We've still got what? About 10 games left? Yeah. Wow. 49 goals, 37 assists for 86 points through 67 games. Ooh. Yeah, Brock Besser has 47. Hall's got 40. Oh, there's actually a lot of guys over 40 goals right now. Got to take a quick look at the stats here. NHL stats. All right, goals. Kaliev's got 49. Besser, 47. Hall, 45. Gaudreau, 44. Sean Monahan, 44. Patrick Kane, 43 who, I, again, is in Florida. Connor McDavid, 42. Miko Rantanen, 41. Pasta with 39. And Patrick Lane with 38. Gaudreau's got 62 assists. Thomas Hurdle, who ended up in L.A., has 59. Monahan's 57. Wow. I do not see a single Minnesota Wild logo anywhere on here. As I scan for leaders. Nope, don't see it. Not even McKinnon. No. Well, he was hurt too, don't forget. Goal oh, that's true, yeah. Goalie leaders... There we go. Tyler Parsons is number seven with over 3,051 minutes played. Yeah, 
Patrick Kane enjoying his retirement in Florida. Personal size. 91 points as an old man. Five ties and overtime losses. 155 goals against. Not a great stat to be on the leaderboard of, but... He has had a lot of saves. 1,676. All right, continuing here. <laughs> Smoked one. Hey, at least Hall is still in your devils in your universe. I was running a recent simulation, and yep. you know who he signed with in my game, Jeff, by the way? I forgot to tell you. I, or in the game I sent you? For next season, he signed with Winnipeg out of all teams. I didn't see what. Okay. Yeah. Pop free agent destination. Oh, it's, they must uh, had a lot of room available. Well, apparently they just decided their best defense was a <laughs> really good offense. And we still can't win a game. Oh, man. This is not good. Where are we sitting in the standings now? We're still in first in our we're two points up on St. Louis, four points up on Chicago, and five points up on two other teams. Not exactly outstanding, but I like I, I don't know what to change. Should we change our overall defensive tactic now that we're more offensive? Like yeah, that's... Let me just see if they... No, I'd, I'd give it a little longer. Two, three more games and just see if they play themselves out of it. I... Well, Parson picks up a win versus the terrible Seattle Kraken. Although they have 46 points, so they're doing a, a, a wee bit better. We score four goals in a span of slightly, not much, under four minutes. Boy, that would just deflate your entire team, huh? Kalia still waiting to see if he gets that extra one. There's something funny. John Chuck is still the GM of Arizona in this game. Well, that didn't happen. So, Jeff, we were talking about the NHL draft next week. We know who's likely going first. Who do you think is going second and third? Uh, Byfield, I think it's pretty much Byfield and Stutzel are pretty much guaranteed 2-3 unless somebody goes way off the boards, but seems unlikely. Uh, it's kind of the, the gap this year is between 3 and 4, and a little bit between 1 and 2, but... Uh, okay, we shut out Calgary. I Trained don't think we're going to see any surprises us. in the top 3. You say that, then we... Oh, no, Shaka just got injured. What happened, Shaka? Pulled the dominal muscle. Ouch. All right, so he's getting hot swapped for Jake Gardner, who will make his debut versus Arizona. See, I, I always go back to... Uh, oh, we hadn't uh, even been playing Gardner? No. The Austin Matthews draft. Who we don't have anyone to take out. I, I don't. Unless we take out Lassie Thompson. But Thompson was playing good enough. I didn't want to take him out. Yeah. No. No, you're right. Although you should probably send Dylan Sandberg down to get some playing time. He's never going to get in there with uh, the guy ahead of him. All right. We risk losing him on waivers. Oh no, we don't. Thought we did. All right. One and a half stars. Doesn't matter. Now we're going to leave Parsons and Net versus Arizona still. 
Uh, another question in the chat there for you, Jeff. Parsons with a win. No tips on managing a national team save. Uh, really depends which national team you're talking about. Uh, North Korea, don't fail. If it's Canada, go out and uh, run over everybody. Yeah, North Korea. Um, you know, the one thing I can think of doing is maybe uh, if you've got a senior team, play a handful of guys just on potential that uh, may not have the uh, talent rating that high yet, but you want to get a little international experience and maybe help their development a little bit. And if you're badly overmatched, if you're, you know, say Denmark in the top group, something like that, uh, try to play a defensive style and see if you can steal a few wins that way. All right. We are now two points shy of tying our franchise, our franchise record of 90 points. Not to be confused with the franchise record. We could still hit that. I mean, we have what nine games nine games to go and i don't know if we mentioned it but the uh, defending cup champion wings are in trouble dun 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 not sure they're gonna make the playoffs they are wow 79 points part of that's they're in a interesting division yeah tough division like they're five games above five hundred, and they just can't get anywhere. Seventy nine points. Like that would put them fifth in the, uh, or tied, or no, well, sixth in the other conference, and almost being right there. And yet they would be doing excellent in our division. Fighting for a playoff spot. Yeah, I'm looking at a couple of their players, and it looks like some of their older guys, Peter Angelo and Kreider, are kind of falling off badly this year. Okay, Parsons is just standing on his head, and we're riding the wave. That or putting in uh, Jake Gardner has made all the difference in the world. Which is stats... Look pretty Whatever pristine. Works. I don't know. There we go. We're at 90 points now, though. Through 74 games. Which means... Even... I got to stop here and think. Eight games left, 16 points. It means if we won every single game, we would tie the franchise record. But we both know that's not happening. Game versus Winnipeg. Simming it out. And we lose in overtime. There, it's over. Actually, we lost in a shootout, apparently. Oh, in a very long shootout. Twelve shooters to go before it ends. Only Nathan McKinnon scored for us. And only Patrick Lane and John Klingberg for them. All right. And, oh, their Kasperi Kapanen is gone for eight months. Ruptured a disc in his back. Ouch. Another Finnish guy with lots of K's in his name. This could be a theme tonight. Again, I just... It's the, the goalie and, and <laughs> the one guy... <laughs> It's, I didn't get Kapanen in the wrong. I just Kapokako and and Kakanen is just it, those are very close. Shaka's almost ready to come back, but I don't know if I want to put him. They back. are. 
you willing to lament that maybe it's not just I'm not completely insane? Just only a little bit. That's okay. I'll take the little bit. All right. We're going to keep leaving Parsons in. He's up to five heat. But we're just going to ride him till, till we can't anymore. He picks up another win. Keep him nice and hot. And we are now at 93 points on the season. Jake Gardner, not a, I, you know what? I think, I think we might pull Lassie Thompson out and put Jake Gardner in. Even though I kind of hate doing that, because Lassie Thompson has been a very good player for us. See, yeah, but Gardner's the veteran, and we seem to be doing better with him in. Okay, the question is, do I leave Gardner on that line with Makar, or do I put Shaka back in with him, or do I just move, demote Shaka to the third pairing? Where did you have him when uh, Gardner was in before? I didn't have Gardner in before. This, this has been the first set of games Gardner has played with us. Jake Gardner is listed as a quarterback. Well, if it's working, I don't want to disrupt it. Yep. Do I want Shaka going on the second line or the third line, though? That's the question. Probably the third line. Parsons. Williams. No, see, they're mad that I didn't... Okay, Gardner's going on the... Uh, Shaka's going in. Gardner's going in for Thompson on the third line. Ivan Lodina has converted to the left wing. Jeff, I got a bad feeling about the playoffs. Well, not like you can do much worse than you've done in other years, can you? Ouch, that hurts. Victor Hedman of the Nashville Predators. That one's hard to read. Uh, everybody's going up again. I mean, at least getting into the playoffs, that'll be a, an improvement. Quickly running up the list. And you are still holding on to that lead atop the division. I know. Which gives you a better playoff pairing. Just don't screw that up. So optimistic. And we're not, uh, <laughs> we're only one point up on St. Louis right now. Not great. Who are the uh, wild card teams looking like right now? Because you may be getting a uh, top one in the first round. Uh, Ottawa killed us. Or. Wait, that's absolutely wrong. Use your 
brain, man. I told oh, you. It's not even in our division. Exactly. Yeah. That's what Vancouver and Winnipeg are kind of fighting. Chicago's also right there. Dallas is right there. And Calgary's not out of it. Everyone's happy except okay, for Craig Leopold's going. Craig You're not winning us, enough. Regardless of which one we get. What was that? Sorry. None of those are, I mean, they're all pretty good matchups for the first round. It's not like you're going to get a really brutal one unless you slip a little bit. Which is very possible. Uh, game versus... I mean, worst case is the Blackhawks go on some huge run at the end here and pass us and St. Louis and you get St. Louis. I threw Hunter Jones in and we lost in overtime. So, I mean, we lost 2 1. That's not his fault. Now yeah, it's a point at least. Takes the point. Went to a shootout again. Right. Last Patterson's the only one who's. Probably scored. his last start of the year, though. So I'd start trying to warm up Parsons now. Parsons at five, five heat. He can't get any oh, Parsons higher. already. Yeah, already five. So, well, yeah, maintain him at least. Yeah. Oh, Kaliev has 54 goals. He can you cool off, though, if you sit him. Well, I'm not planning on sitting him too much, but... I want to get Hunter Jones at least one more game in here. Parsons with his 49th start of the year. And he picks up the win. 5-1. We are going to need a hot goalie to ride us. Riley Sutter picks up his seventh goal of the year. All right. Yeah. He covered pretty well from that bad injury last year. Although he's still not scoring like he was in that little, on that start he had in previous season. Yeah, that injury really hurt him. He His development could have just went off the charts. Three games left. Versus Vancouver, versus Dallas, and versus Pittsburgh. So a couple of wild card guys from our division in Pittsburgh, who's, yeah, yeah about there on the other side, too. Yeah, I was just looking to see who I... Conference, rather? Where I was going to give Jones a game, but you know what? I think I'll probably run... Uh, give him the last game off. Maybe the middle one if you're going to do it. Unless you want to start the backup against Vancouver in the hopes that they, if they win, win that helps their wild card chances and they're probably the weakest of the wild cards. We lost 5-4. Not that you should be tanking games. Ouch. I will not tank any games. I will lose them honestly. Gerard Gallant, who has managed to ha hang on in this game because we started so long ago, is about to be fired, it looks like. Yeah, uh, finally. All right, Parsons. Win it. Win it. And he loses. We are going to absolutely blow this because you told me to start this goalie the, all the, these times. Ninety-six points. Good news is Dallas is done, and they're still a point back behind us. St. Louis can only tie us, but they have more wins than us. So that's not great. We need to win this last game then. Or at least get a tie. <laughs> Again. Uh, 
All right, game versus Pittsburgh here. I am going to give this game to Hunter Jones because Parsons got down to four fires, and I don't... If he drops down to three, then we're really in trouble, but he could drop down to three going into the playoffs, but then he could move down to two by the time the playoffs starts. I don't know what to do. We're going to go with Jones. And Jones loses the game. We lose 4-2, and now fate is out of our hands. What a disappointing end to the season. Going into the playoffs with a three-game losing streak. Johnny Gaudreau, 118 points on the year. And But do we lose the uh, top spot in the division? Or the, yeah, the division now. Definitely looking Blues like have it. one more game. Oh, Blues are done, and whoa, we hang on to it. Oh. Oh, Calgary beat him. Yes. Okay, so just going to look at our stats here for summary for the year. One point. Nate McKinnon, 93 points through 72 games. Atu Ratu. Doesn't get to 40 goals, only gets to 39. 41 assists, 80 points. Braden Point only got in 69 games because of an injury, had 72 points. That's a good year for him. Elias Pedersen having to jump up and down the lineup, still got uh, 62 points in 77 games. Cal McCarr, 59 points in 54 games. Not all with us. Matt Dumba, 37 points in 82. Tim Stutzel got up to 37 points. Uh, 32 with us, so that's not bad. Uh, we... Smoke one asking in chat, uh, what are the chances Marco Rossi drops to number seven in the draft? Pretty good, I'd say. There's quite a bit ahead of him that uh, I think they're actually, he may go as low as eight, maybe nine. Well, if he drops to 10, that'd be okay. Just saying. Uh, Zach Dean. Is that where you guys are? Yeah. <laughs> Zach Dean, 33 points. Lee Marnsby with 35 points. Those guys put in some good minutes for us and, you know, played well. Zach Dean won 52% of his face-offs. I like that. That's a good, for a rookie centerman, you can't ask yeah, for it's much actually more. really good for a rookie. Yeah. Can't ask for much more than that. Yep. So... Normally, I'd say we probably should kind of wrap up here, but I, if we lose, I'm going to be so disappointed. What do you think? Yeah, I'm just proud to do it here, and then we can do the playoffs next time. Okay, well, the playoffs. One I think round. you'll okay. I mean, it's seven it's games. Over. That's enough for a whole stream. Okay, we're just looking at uh, the Hart Trophy. We're going to look at the nominations before we go here. So, Hart Trophy is not us. Vesna Trophy is not us. Norris Trophy is not us. Calder Trophy. Come on, we should have a Calder. Really? Nick Wong, Ty Simiak, and Noah Delmont. What did Ty Simiak have? 49 points, 52 points, 60 points. Wow, defenseman with 60 points. Noah Delmont. That's my. Oof, that's Who's that? A, Ottawa Senators. Delamont. Uh, Delamont, yeah. yeah. Executive of the year is somehow not us, which is ridiculous. No Selkie nominations. Oh, there we go. Nate McKinnon got a nomination for the Lady Bing. No nominations for the Mark Messier. No nominations for the Ted Lindsay. We don't even get nominated for Coach of the Year. What is this? Ugh. All right. So, thank you very much for tuning in to another Franchise Hockey Manager 6 streams. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash OOTP Developments as well. You can also reach out to us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash franchise hockey manager on Twitter. We are at franchise hockey 
And of course, you can come on down to our official website, which is ootpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right hand corner, which will bring you to our official forums where you can come talk about franchise hockey manager, out of the park baseball, perfect team, or anything else you want to. Jeff, we are playing the Canucks in the first round, which you know what that means. You have rigged the game and we are going to lose. I do not like this. <laughs> More than likely. And speaking of the Canucks, we'll be back next week with our uh, his alternate history Canucks game. Uh, I think we're in 70, 72, 73? Yeah, 72, 73. And we'll see if we uh, collapse in the playoffs as we usually tend to do in that game. Probably. And we'll also know the results of the drafts, the real draft, uh, or at least the first round of it on Tuesday or the, uh, I mean, if you're a Canucks fan, the first day of it is Wednesday because we got no picks in the first two rounds. But we'll be back then and uh, hopefully, hopefully see everybody there. Thanks, and we'll see you all again next week. <laughs>